next tractor is a nicely restored 50D, which I believe was bought in the sale um, here on Friday, and is the wheel version of the crawler going round earlier. And they weren't particularly successful in this country. They were too big, really, and they had no hydraulic systems. In the 50s, hydraulic arms were coming in, and there was no provision for hydraulics because it was based on the crawler. But they were reasonably su successful abroad, but they, nevertheless, they only made about 1,200. The next tractor up is another crop master. Again, the later type with a squared off front below the grill, and um, a very good it's looking too. The next one up, again, is another of the early type, the smaller, shorter crop masters, the 1940s version. And another, the next one coming up, carrying a Gloucestershire number, KFH, is the diesel version. Um, this is when they beefed them up and put the square front end on to accommodate the diesel engine, and the diesel engine became an option. And David Brown's in 1950 were the first British manufacturer to make and fit their own diesel engine as opposed to buying one in from an engine manufacturer such as Perkins. The next tractor up is an 850. This dates from the late 50s or early 60s. And uh, you see the colour scheme. They were then brightening them up a bit with yellow wheels and the, the styling has changed. And um, that, that was sold alongside the, the larger 950 at the time. And they were very successful models too. The next prop master coming towards me is towing one of David Brown's own bailers, or David Brown Albion. They took over Albion sometime in the 1950s, who they were, um, Albion went back to making even horse equipment many years, and uh, started making implements for David Brown's, and this was one of the uh, creations following the takeover. Very good on hill land, because the bale rammer is sideways, and the bales come at the end, they un you unfold the uh, bale chamber at the end, and the bales come sideways. If you're on a hill, it's much safer because the backwards to forwards motion of a conventional baler So um, they were quite popular in Wales, places like that. Next tractor is a 25D, which again followed the crop master. You can see the stripped down smaller mud guards and the single tin pan seat. Pulling an earlier Albion. I believe it's an Albion mower, but it, it looks like it's been converted from a horse mower, but engine driven with a little Bernard engine, which is French. They seem to come in this country for that application. You do see them around, but not fitted to much else. And another round from Crockmaster following, 1960s Crockmaster. The 950 coming up, as I mentioned earlier, with the 850, this is the bigger version, the 950, which through the late 50s and early 60s went through several different variations makes it a bit difficult when you come to try and sort out parts for them. They have different filters, depending on age, etc. And the next tractor is the 770. Um, I believe that earlier tractor of mine, the 750, which was only built in Germany, um, I don't feel it as David Brands were gear makers, so I don't think they were very happy about the Germans fitting a ZF back end. So uh, this was their answer. They came up with a smaller tractor of their own. Next tractor going around is a 900. This was the first tractor to break away from the plain red colour scheme. They, um, they were using blue wheels, and this model only ran for a couple of years. There were a number of problems with it, some of them associated with the injector pump, which was a new type. So they were the guinea pig, really. Once all the bugs were ironed out, every other manufacturer was fitting them then, including Ford and Massey Ferguson. And we have another, another 2D coming around next. And after that, the David Brown 880, um, which was a hybrid originally in its time. The farmers were saying they wanted more power, but in a smaller tractor. So it's an amalgamation of the earlier 850 and 950. It's basically a 950 engine in an 850 chassis. And they became very popular. Later production ones had a new engine, which was uh, the later engine was a three-cylinder one bigger version of that in the 770. The next tractor is a 25D, D denoting diesel, again following on from the Crockmaster. Um, curiously, the, they gave the D designation, which was fairly obvious for diesel, but if it was TVO, it was just 25, whereas with the 30, it was 30D and 30C. Don't ask me why. Uh, we have another 50D coming round now. This one's coming from Australia. The weather is kinder to tractors than it is here. 
And as you can see, it's a nice faded original condition and better left that way rather than painted up. Because if we paint them all, we'll ne never have any reference for them to know how they really should be. And the next tractor up is another early crop master. Um, I like this one, that's got a starter motor on. Just after the war, there were still shortages of, of parts, so um, you were very lucky actually in about 1947 or 48 to get one with a starter motor, otherwise you had to swing the handle as, as you had to on older tractors. Next tractor coming up is another of those 1200s, which again, as with that 50D, it just shows if you're lucky, how you can find them. It's a nice straight bonnet. They're usually more beaten up than this, and again, it's quite a nice original, in nice, quite nice original condition. The next tractor is another VAK1. This one has got rubber tires on. Either the uh, customer during the war was very lucky or managed to pull a few strings, or it was converted after the war. Rubber tires possibly were put on after the war. The next tractor is um, a slightly modified version of the wartime aircraft. Um, note the big winch on the back. They were used for recovering crashed aircraft. If they crash landed, also they used to um, originally line up the Lancasters down the side of the runway, which the Germans spent wonderful for shooting up, but um, then they dispersed them around under the trees and they were getting them bogged in. So they, hence they used the winches to drag them out of the mire. Thank you. Right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to carry on with the rest of the tractors now. First one we've got is a, a case. This is a, a case. A case model S. I saw one of these in America many years ago with a loader on it. Uh, and they, put, uh, they were going to buy another tractor. They had a demonstration of a new tractor and they kept their old tractor. That was in you know, Wisconsin, uh, no, Wyoming, sorry. And this belongs to Mr. G.W. Compton from Edinburgh. Reported from Canada. Oh, so we've done a bit far away from where I talked to him. Okay, next one, we've got a case one way out, on LA. Always do it in February, second, February the 5th, 1942. It's a little bit older than me. Uh, complete with steel wheels, PDO employee, came from Beats and Co. to Northern Guild of Middle Farm, Stoke Orchard, uh, later to Bentley's Farm in the, the league. Sold to a neighbour in 52 and brought back in the late 80s by himself, his Ronnie Gilder, son of the original owner. Anyway, thanks for bringing it, sir. Another, another 1942 KSLA, the Skittery family, the organisers of the, the tractor section are here this year again. Now, it was a lot of work to help us all bring our tractors, and well, all the family do a lot to, to help us. That's Alexandre's eldest son driving the tractor. Then we've got Mr Richard Sturdy from uh, Yorkshire. Motor, motor uh, case. Have I got to get down on my knees to read that? I'll try and read to it. Right, Which is sturdy from Galway, North Yorkshire, with the case 1832K, with the last development of the famous case cross motor range with a uh, transverse engine on the tractor. That's if, that's if you can hear me when I said all that, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for bringing it, sir. And we've got a Field Marshal Series 3A, 1954. Belongs to Mr. Phil Thomas of Bristol. Ex-Australian track to this. Fully restored over two and a half years. Uh, 80 down oversized pistons. Fitted. New small end, new big end, main bearings. sit better on them than what you can on the earlier models. You, you don't shake everything about. Try and read most of this. We've got near a, a series Marshall, series one, uh, manufacturing marshals in Gainsborough, 40 horsepower, 
single cylinder, two stroke diesel engine, not forward, uh, one, one reverse, three forward gears, sorry about that. Give it a top speed of six miles an hour. Just a little bit past the some of the standard boards. Behind that, David Arwood with his Series 3. 1949, this track term belongs to say to David Arwood and over in Hampshire. 20 spring life in Canada. And imported back to England in 1999. Restored by David. So if you say anything against restored by David, you'll know it's pretty good. Okay. We've got an international V275, 1961, this one belongs to Mr. J. Gillen, Karen from uh, Winsford in Cheshire, 42,010 from uh, the solid state. Bar sold for 16 years and did not run. Overall, by Mr. Mike Speed, but now used for rallies and road runs. Anyway, thank you for being here, sir. It's a good job you're on it. We've got a Rambler's Playmaster 6.4, it's a 600 engine, four wheel drive, uh, 1963, supplied to Oaks, a Vulcan, and sold to a large farm in Wiltshire. Built by Rovers and Angelo in uh, 63, based on the new performance base of Unis Anyway, thank you very much for bringing this up. Complete with a, a good load in that uh, transport box. And we got, uh, now this is a young John Chum, uh, Calcon. He lives uh, near south of Warwickshire. Uh, I used to work with his father, and I won't tell you what his father, how I was introduced to his father. But that's the BMC Mini Tractor that belongs to John's wife. Uh, 948cc engine, complete with a mill loader. And we saw them, a lot of them tractors, I worked for a, a Fergus Ranger. That's a 1965 tractor. Then we got, this is John's own tractor, a 695. And he managed to put a Perkin 6354 engine into that tractor and uh, how he's done it, 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 it there's not a lot of space to get anything in but yeah, be care, careful it's quite what you can do and it's on the back of that tractor is a bumper super puller super flow right. plow make that tractor really work then we've got number 82 which is a farm all bmd uh, a gold tractor these were produced in about 1952 i think the year of the uh, coronation, and that's why they're painting gold. Okay, thank you very much. Then we got number 75, this is a Farmall B. Yeah, get it right this time. Uh, Farmall B, three wheeler, uh, and then the driver's got beautiful view of anything, and uh, I'm just looking at the on there. Number 69 is a Alice Chalmers D270. It's got a Perkins P3 engine in there and uh, a mounted box on the back. Oh, well, it's a useful little tractor. We've got a Marshall, Marshall Model M, 1940 this is, with a, fitted with a medium sized Marshall wheel. Oh, and an extra weight weighted, loaded on the bottom of the axle there to keep the front wheels there. Okay, thank you very much for bringing it, sir. Oh, it's going now. We've had one of two bits of problems with this little tractor. Oh, that's no idea, yeah. The Caterpillar D2, uh, model D23J, 1938. Tractor belongs to Alexander Skittery from Edinburghshire. Found in a wood near Quarry, on my word. Bought in poor condition in 1990. Tracks, so it's a donkey engine and all knackered. It's a thing to say, isn't it? But never mind, that's how you find them. Uh, bought, 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 bought for uh, Alexander, for his dad. Uh, and uh, always as a christening present. Anyway. It's still going on, on with restoration. Anyway, keep it going. Yeah, they had to do some repairs to it this weekend, but never mind. Yes. Wheels are going round. Now we've got an uh, Alice J. 
Jarvis model uh, two seven two, I think. Yeah. Um, it was a bit of 1957, 58 tractor, three cylinder Perkins engine fitted into that. Uh, again, a useful little tractor. Do a lot of work. Then we got a Leyland one by four. This is the uh, uh, operating 425 tractor, 1973, belongs to John Dennis, bought uh, by Lord Devon, due to a Lancashire sawmill, then sold to a farmer for general use, bought by a horse breeder, purchased by himself, uh, John Dennis, in 2009, part of restored condition, took six months to restore. Anyway, enjoy it, that's all you can do. Mr. Thomas T272, uh, petrol paraffin this one, uh, manufactured Stanford in Lingling, actually manufactured Essen Dome in this time. Tax spent his working life on the farm in Cornwall, and sold for a farm in the Bristol area in October 2003. Sold his present for only three acres in Tarleton in Gloucestershire. Anyway, very good. on the front of me at the moment, 1914, Aaron and, and Howard Moss from Chard in Somerset, been in the family since 52, given to us by their grandfather in 2005, after being stood for 25 years, and supplied by Lyndon's own wheelchair in Somerset, or Wilton, Willington, sorry, in Somerset. That's that one. All right, now the next one is a case model C in 1939. Thanks to Howard Moss of uh, Chard in Somerset, making working life in Croydon, painting grey, which is the war effort to disguise the tractor. Bought in 2009, uh, 2009 with Ledbury after not being run for 20 years. And mechanically restored over the last 20, uh, 18 months. Anyway, thanks for bringing this up. This is your Mr. Hastings with his uh, Field Marshal 45 series. Series one, yeah. Only going on single cylinder. Can you sit still while you're sat on there, please? Can you sit still while you're sat on there? <laughs> now we've got an Alice Chalmers ED40 Diplomatic diesel tractor. 1966, 63 this tractor, he was not to spend uh, a lot of his life getting to the present in condition, which is very, very interesting. A lot of them do, don't they? And about long to do, Richard Blake, Blake Way from uh, Gloucestershire. You shouldn't have two on a tractor, you know. You shouldn't have two on that. This is a series. <laughs> that's a series three, Bill Marshall. Three A, sorry, sorry, that's why he painted on it. Is that a series three? Yes, that's a series three. That's, that's, that's the original colour the way we're on. They, they made us, made them do it. Oh dear, I shan't read all of this. Well, it's, uh, John Deere, or Joe Deere. South Dakota, that's why it's really tough. Another series, series two field marshal, that one I think of it. Series one, you can't, there's so many differences on the thing that, what's it? 1946 is one. Single cylinder engine as a tape with that. So.
on Jagger's tractor with a winch on the back of there. So we use flashing, winches, any, 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 any. with a nine times couple on the back there. Then we got a rumbly, wants to uh, uh, point, point past him.
Pike, apron wheels, um, many more wheels on the back, but uh, I've rode rock tanks. Anyway, thank you very much for bringing us up. Okay, that's the end of the track to today. Yeah, which way are you going around? That way. Oh, the over there then, yeah.